So let's go ahead and get started. The first card that we have here is Angel of Strength. And what they're saying is right now there's a number of you that you're going through some challenges with regards to a number of you to your family and some of you to your health. Um, so, so May is a month for you to, to step into your um, personal power, your inner strength, um, because that is what's going to get you through this situation. Um, it, it, it's a time for um, increasing power, knowledge, knowing, um, action on your behalf. Um, May is not a month for you to be, you know, passive submissive. Um, so for those of you that are, you know, in the family situation where there's a lot of conflict and strife and, and arguments and things going on with your family, this is, this is the month to, you know, speak up for yourself. Um, take action, take control, you know, help direct some of those decisions. Um, and, and the angels will help you with that. I, I get for some of you, it's it's almost like um, a loved one had passed away and you, you're dealing with the estate and there's a, a lot of argument and conflict and, and strife going over, you know, who's going to receive what. Um, but they're saying just, just step into your strength, speak up for yourself. It will work out. It's actually going to be worked out by winter time. Um, because I get there's a, there's a lot for some of you that this is a message and hopefully it's more than one of you. <laughs> there's um, a number of family members that are just trying to get their part of this estate. So so they're saying it's it's going to take time. Um, it will be worked out by the winter time. You are going to need to speak up for yourself. Um, and and I get and I get for a number of you you're you're actually like the peacemaker in the family. So you, so you're going to help calm everyone down a little bit, um, and, and you're going to be able to help almost be mediator for the whole situation. Um, so they're encouraging you to step into that. Now, for those of you that this is a, that this is a health situation, um, they're, they're helping you have the strength in the month of May to, to take the necessary actions. And, and for some of you, it's going to be, you know, get another consultation. Um, for some of you, it may be, you know, starting a treatment that isn't a treatment that you would normally pursue or have any interest in you you would you even question the validity will this actually work or not um but they're encouraging you in the, in the month of may to take those steps you know for some of you get that second opinion for some of you you know try that alternative approach um that alternative treatment because because you'll be pleasantly surprised by the results the next card we have is man holding a heart and this is this is talking it's talking about dealing with dealing with emotions dealing with emotions surrounding love surrounding family um so what they're saying is in may you're going to have increased clarity with regards to your to your emotions the conflict the um that you've been having with your family for many of you and for some of you the, the conflict that you've been having with your partner um your spouse your lover um so they're saying that, they, that it's been it's been a very confusing time there's there's been a, a lot of arguments a lot of you know hurt feelings emotions um have the emotions have been very turbulent but in May, you're going to come to a place where, where the confusion will be gone. You are going to get the clarity. You are going to be able to come to an agreement, a come to a solution, a compromise that, that's going to work for everyone. And we'll have everyone come back to a place of love and, and, and love and caring for each other um, instead of protecting, their, protecting your own turf. Um, so everyone will come from a more balanced, loving place instead of, you know, aggressively protecting what's theirs. And they're saying that that will come about in May and they are going to help you with that. Um, now, for a small number of you, this, this bottom row is supposed to be talking about love, but somehow love has seeped in. So for a small number of you, you are going to be meeting a love interest, a, a new person. And, and this person 
what they're saying is because this card is often talking about a man with emotions, love emotions, family emotions. Um, so what they're saying is this this person that you're going to meet, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a man, man or woman, but this person that some of you will be meeting in May is, is very thoughtful, very loving, very considerate, very in touch with his emotions. Um, he has high standards, high morals, high ethics. Um, he's, he or she is the person that you've been seeking. Next card we have is winter. And the bottom of it says, the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. Okay. So, winter's, winter's, you know, time of completion. That's when everything goes to sleep, you know. Um, nature kind of, you know, goes to sleep into a deep slumber until the spring when everything reawakens. So it, it's a it's a completion. It's a closing of a chapter. It's um, putting the things behind us. I get for a number of you this is this is going to be closing. I get for some of you this is going to be when that chapter finally closes with all the emotions and argument and strife that's been going on around handling that family estate. Um, it'll finally be done and finish. Close that book and move on. Um, For some of you, I get that this is. Hold on a second, let me see if I'll give me some more information. For some of you, I get that this is a, a closing a chapter with a, a, a spouse, a, um, a a partner, a lover, someone that you've been committed to for quite some time. Um, and they're saying for some of you, that's actually part of the strength that you're going to be stepping into because you know that they were saying with the strength that speaking up for yourself um standing your beliefs standing for what you what you deserve um what you believe in so for some of you that's going to be the completion of a chapter with your your partner your spouse um your long-term lover now for some of you that may be an actual closing of that chapter and moving on and out of that relationship but for some of you, that's actually going to be closing the chapter of the tension, the stress, the arguments, the um, the difficult phase that you've been going through so that you'll be, you know, embarking on a new beginning. Um, you'll be bringing that spark back in. Um, so I just want you to know that, that, that there is hope in sight. Because um, I guess some of you are going to start to embark on that, that conflict, those things that are going to start coming up in the month of May. So... They're saying that that will come to completion in the winter months. Now, for some of you, hold on one second. Okay. So what they're saying is, is for a small number of you, you know, talking about closing chapters, um, they're saying some of you have been having fertility issues and You've been trying for a very long time to have a have a family, to start a family. Um, you've been trying to conceive. Um, for some of you, that's actually what's what has been causing and will continue to cause. Or for some of you, it's actually going to start to bubble up and, and, and cause some serious um, emotional conflict and strife with your, your spouse, your partner, um, because of not being able to conceive, not being able to start your family. And this is male or female um because i get that that there's some of you that are men that you know you and your wife just aren't conceiving and it, it's really heartbreaking because it's something that that you both desire so much and 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 you've really wanted more than anything um so let go and let god what i'm getting is that in the winter months that dream will come to fruition um I get for some of you, you will be conceiving this winter. And I get that will be unexpected. So so what they're saying is to to let those worries, those fears go. Because um, if we fear that something's not going to happen, energetically, that's what we will pull to us. So if, if we fear that, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be a father, I'm never going to be a mother, well, well, that's what the universe will give us, that we'll never be a father, we'll never be a mother. Um, so just, you know, just pray. Give it to God. 
give it to the angels, ask for their help, say, I would like to be a mother, I would like to be a father, this is my deep, one of my deepest heart's desires. And trust that they're going to bring that to fruition. And then, and then focus on things that bring you happiness and joy because that's going to elevate your mood, your happiness. That's going to help you connect and get that intimacy back in the relationship and sparks. I get for a number of you that sparks just been gone because of the challenges with fertility that you've been facing. Um, so focus on focus on those joyful things, those little things that that will bring happiness in. And so then what I'm getting is then you'll find unexpectedly for some of you, it will be unexpected you're gonna you'll have like thrown in the towel thinking it's not going to happen and then you're gonna find out this winter that you're pregnant and for some of you you are going to um be adopting you're going to be a brute you're going to be like approved for adoption um in the winter time to bring your dreams of being a parent to fruition so hang in there hang in there it's going to happen this row is dealing with love. The first card that we have is, as you guys can see it, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I'm getting some of you, you know, some of you are having issues with your partner um, because of uh, things that your mother or your father did um, or did not do when you were a child. Um, and for some of you, it's it's because you keep attracting the wrong person in the relationship. So um, so what they're saying is, so say for example, you you know you were physically abused when you were a child by your father. So so for hold on a second, they're giving me some. They're talking very quickly now. Um, Okay, so for some of you, you were you were abused as a child, and you, you know you, you're now an adult, and you 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 for some of you, you keep attracting, or and you don't even understand why you, you attract relationships with people who who are abusive, um, and those partners are you know it could be verbally abusive, it could be physically abusive, but they uh, they are abusive to you, and, and it's because that core anger that needs to be released because of you know your your father's abuse toward you um that's causing you to energetically continue to pull that into your life um and for some of you that have pulled that into your life and you're in that that is also how you're going to have the strength um but you're going to have the strength to heal it and release it so So what they're saying is by releasing that, and, and that's just an example. There are there are other there's you know abandonment, um, not being fed, hunger. They're saying some of you there's some um, hunger issues, um, but those things are those things are affecting your life now. Um, and for those of you that are in a relationship, you know it could be abandonment. It could be you know your mother left when you were a, an infant, and um, so you you don't let anyone close you for those of you that are single you attract relationships of people that are non-committal um for those of you that are married or in a committed relationship you, you have you have difficulty really opening up to true intimacy out of fear that your partner is going to abandon you and leave you um so they're encouraging you in the month of may to heal those um heal those family issues heal the heal the past so they're encouraging you to forgive your mother, forgive your father, and get to the root because that is going to completely transform your love life. Um, and to know that healing them, it, it's not you endorsing their behavior um, because what they did to you is not right. So you're not saying that you're endorsing it. You're not saying that it's right, that their behavior is not. You're just simply forgiving him or her so that you don't have to carry those toxic emotions and feelings any longer in your body and for a number of you when, when that's healed and released not only is it going to transform your love life it's going to transform your relationship for those of you that are single it's, it's going to transform and bring the right person to you but for a number of you it's actually going to physically transform your life as well because when we have deep emotionally set traumas you can call them emotional traumas when we have those deeply rooted in our body it, it will manifest as physical health issues um 
I have a number of clients and family members and friends and loved ones that um, when I've done energy work, because I, I do quantum touch energy medicine, so when I've done energy work on them, um, I will heal things from this life and past life and a and, and number of them it's, you know, this life and, and it's, there have been some of them where it is family issues with their parents. Um, but when those things are healed and released, seeing people with epilepsy get healed, cured, um, seeing cancer completely cured and healed, um, seeing a lot of stomach ulcers, all different types of endometriosis, um, all completely transformed and healed. They're gone when those emotions are healed and released. So for a number of you, you will find that when these things are healed and released, that not only does your love life completely turn around, but your physical well-being will completely transform as well. So they are encouraging you to do that this month because great things await you. Now this card that we have is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I get for a number of you, you know, you're, you're in a relationship, it's not rewarding. Um, you're not being treated the way that you deserve. Um, so, so you're not really looking at yourself as though you're, you're worthy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of giving love, receiving love. Um, so, and for some of you, you, you're having challenges and difficulty finding the right relationship. Um, you keep, and you're not sure why you keep attracting relationships with the, with the wrong people. Um, and because it's an energetic thing, um, because we, we have to love ourselves before we can really open up to loving others. Um, and so energetically, if, if we don't love ourselves, um, and we don't think that it's important to take care of ourselves and, and to give ourselves the best things that we deserve. We, we will energetically attract someone who doesn't really love us and really doesn't take care of us and doesn't give us the things that we deserve. So they're encouraging you in the month of May to heal your heart, to come back to a place of loving yourself, to to take a look at yourself in, in, a, in a caring, non-critical way, um, to see, you know, where is it that I'm not loving myself? Where what is it that I beat myself up about? Um, you might, may find that it's things with your parents. You may find that it's um, other things that happened to you as a child. Um, maybe someone that was a romantic partner in the past that was extremely critical of you that made you doubt um, your ability to give love, be a partner. Um, but just really take a look at that. And may they're encouraging you to take a look at that and um, and, and work on healing and releasing those things and, and getting back to loving you, loving who you are, regardless of if you're completely alone, knowing that you're amazing, you rock, you don't even need anyone else to add on to that. And for those of you that are in the, 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 the abusive relationship, they're saying to have the strength to heal your heart, getting back to knowing that you're amazing and loving yourself and to set boundaries to set boundaries with that person um, and to not allow them to step over your boundaries because you deserve a loving, caring relationship. And when you love yourself, you will set those boundaries and not allow someone to step over them and not love you back. And the last card, this is a card that is, um, I asked the angels, you know, how can you improve your love life in the month of May? What would they recommend? And, and the card that we got is pause and What they're saying is in the month of May, take the time to reflect, take a, take the time to take a break, go inward, do some reflection on, on your true feelings, your true thoughts um, about the situation. With your partner, with not having a partner, they're, they're saying to really, really look at that. Um, and, and just take the time and, and to be honest with yourself, you know, what is it that I really want? What will really make me happy? Um, what is it that I feel that I that I lack? Um, because again, remember, energetically, we pull things to ourselves. So for some, it may be that, you know, you don't have anyone in your life and you look at it, okay, well, what's the real core thing? Okay, well, the real core thing is I have this deep-seated fear of being alone, of being abandoned. Um, so you energetically pull being alone. Um, but by doing that deep seated and that thinking and realizing what's really going on, you'll be able to heal and release that. Um, so they're saying just take the time in May 
to take some time for you to focus, to reflect, um, pray, listen to your intuition, listen to that guidance that you get, and then and then take the take any necessary steps after you've completed that inner reflection, um, so that you can move forward in love and happiness and and the things that you desire. Um, and they're also saying boundaries. So for some of you that are going to do the pausing, the reflecting. Um, you know, reflect on, you know, what is it that I want a partner? How how do I expect a partner to treat me? How would I treat a partner? And if you discover it and you realize, okay, well, I'm with someone and, and this is what I expect and, and want in a relationship and, and he, she is not giving me that, well, then use that to have the strength to go back and set the boundaries with that person. Because they will either step up to the plate and respect you and give you the love and the respect and honor your requests and your boundaries, or they won't, and at which point you'll be able to take that step and move forward to find the person who will.